join me, never too old. As I explore the waters of local lakes and quarries, as well as the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, and the Caribbean Sea, two thirds of this world is covered by water. So let's go into this adventure and meet along the way amazing creatures that have made this amazing blue world home. Hello everybody, never too old here with another school diving video. Joe Dietrich joined me today. We are at Dutch Spring Quarry. And today we're gonna dive uh, the pump house site. Uh, it's a deep dive. Uh, it lays around 80 feet on the all the way to the bottom, but we're not gonna go that deep because Joe is not wearing a dry suit today. Um diving with a dry suit but I'm not gonna go that deep because it gets kind of cold there like I said Joe doesn't have a, a dry suit today so we're gonna stay a little bit above it and see some of the structure from from a bit above so like we're seeing here uh, I really don't know what this is I mean but all I know is these are the remains of that pump house that the uh, this company that bought the land back in 1933 built here when it was a uh, uh, when they were manufacturing cement and mining limestone here that's when they built this look at this funny looking tree looks pretty cool it's all covered with zebra mussels like I said before they they introduced zero muzzle here to filter the water so it gets clearer. Let's Joe say hi, he's not camera shy. The water should be a lot clearer, but because we're deep in the summer and there are many students here at Dutch, they they stir up the silt and stuff, so but it's still good. It's still it's still better than willow. So here we are. So back uh, back in the old days, the quarry started filling with water. So they had to build this pump to continually pump the water out until, until they stopped operations. They shut down in, in 1970. So then in, in 1980, there it is. So we had to say, it's always good to say uh, hi and do a selfie. I always say that it is appropriate. Uh, like I was saying, in 1980, the land was bought and then turned into a fresh water diving facility known as Dutch Springs. Here's some of the, the piping where the water, I guess, ran through and it was pumped out. There are big boulders down here. I always thought those uh, reddish colors or brownish on the bottom were like solid rock, but it's not, it is, I guess, some kind of algae or something, I mean. But there's like a thick layer of silt there. It's all these uh, beans. 
There's all the zero muzzles. Pretty cool. I don't know if these are beams or pillars. They're all laying here. There are many fish down here in this area. They're in the shallower areas and where the the grassy areas are. And here in Dutch, this there are a couple of thermoclines. And sometimes, as you go deeper, you can see this like you can see the like the layer when when the temperatures start changing. It looks kind of hazy. Looks weird. You have to be here to see it. <laughs> Look at that. It's another one of those funny looking trees. Or the piping. Temperature it was like in the 50s up here, but if you go as you go deeper, it starts getting real cold. This is the first time I really do a dive with my with my dry suit that I got. I had it tested a few months ago. You can see uh, I have it one of my videos when I'm testing the the dry suit. This is I don't know if this is part of the pillars or I don't know I don't really know what it looks cool let's look from above another funny looking tree pretty cool There's like a tower here. We are coming around now along the wall, heading towards the student side. So now the wall is on our right side. Hey, there's one of the residents. It is the bus. Now where we're reaching the rocky areas, that's where they spawn. And there's like crayfish hidden on the under the rocks and they hunt for it. See there's like babies and stuff. There's the little ones. I don't know if you can see them. And then there's like I don't know if that's a mother guarding them or not, because she's not eating them. There she goes. Hey, stick around. See if we see more. Ah, oh, there's Joe up there. We're under, under the tower. Under one of the towers. Still around the pump house area. Let's get out of here. More babies, more big ones over there. You can see. There's some algae growing on these rocks. Green algae. There's another bass. Large mouth bass. I haven't seen any palominos on this side. I haven't seen any trout yet. 
There's another bass. About the ecology here in Dutch Springs, there's different kind of fish. Uh, the one that you saw, the largemouth bass. There is bluegill, koi, yellow perch, as well as rainbow. Zebra mussel that they're all over the place. Crayfish, palomino trout, I think there's rainbow trout too. So that's some of the, the fish that roam the area. So we are coming to the end of this video. This is a two part video. So coming up, I'm gonna be showing you some other cool stuff that they have here in Dutch Spring. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.